Alright, since a lot of students request about bearing, so I decided to make a short video about bearing. Okay, so here I actually I list out the three examples, three different types of examples about bearing, but this is not the very difficult type because it's a very difficult type of bearing. You normally you won't see any diagram. They will only give you the wording and then they ask you to draw the diagram by yourself. But over here is three different types. I think these three different types of bearing question actually quite important to make you understand the basic, the foundation about bearing. Alright, so all right, before I start to go into these questions, uh, first, I want to make sure at least you understand how to read and find the bearing first. So, I will give you a simple example. Okay, so let's say we have something like this. We have two lines here. Okay, so we have A, B. Okay, so these two lines is a north here. So when we read the bearing, right? When we read, let's say I say uh, bearing B from A, bearing B from A is 60 degree. Example, this is just an example. Let's say bearing B from A is 60 degree. So when you read the bearing, it's like this. When they say from A, the angle must be at A here. All right, must be at A here. Why they have B from A, that's mean the angle must from A here, and then, and then I will draw the angle connect to the line AB because it's B from A. Okay, so when angle from A here, bearing have some rule like this. First, you have to have the line of north here. Second, when you read the angle, it must from the line north here, the angle rotate clockwise. Clockwise must be this direction. When you touch the line AB, you stop. Okay, so you can see angle at A, A, isn't it? Of course, this angle is way too big. Normally, it, it will be very small here. Yeah? But I just want you to uh, see it. So it's like this. When there's angle B from A, so I'll find a line from A here. And then I will start to draw my angle clockwise. You cannot draw anti-clockwise. Huh? Because if you draw angle like this, your bearing will be wrong. Must from the north and then rotate clockwise. So this is the wrong one. Okay? So, and then until you touch the line AB, then this is 60 degree. Alright, same idea if I say angle A from B is 300 degree. Example, if A from B is 300, right? A from B, from B, that means the angle must be at B here. And 300, how the 300 will look like? Well, from the north here, and then the angle will rotate clockwise until I touch the line AB. Do you see AB here? So the whole angle here will be 300. Alright, so therefore, when we do bearing, make sure you remember these three things. First thing is mass from north. You need to find out where is the north. Second thing, you have to make sure your angle is from the line of rotate clockwise clockwise. Alright, third, and until you will touch the line AB in this example, sometimes can be PQ, depend on your line, until you touch the line, until you touch the line, then that is your angle. When you read the bearing, make sure it's fulfilled all this term. And in bearing question, almost all the case, you will need to find north. You will need to know where is the north. This is how you know the direction in the air. Right, so we always need to know where is the north. All right, this is something very important, basic. So if you understand this basic, then we can go into the questions. All right, so first type of question is quite easy because the north is given. All right, so they give you this diagram and then they ask you to find the bearing E from D. Okay, so first thing I want to know where, which angle I want to find. From D, that means the angle must at D here. But then at D here, I don't have the line of north. So I need to draw it by myself. So I will draw exactly parallel to this line. Huh? You cannot simply draw the north but, uh, like whatever you like. No, you have to be kind of parallel. All right, my, <laughs> my line is very bad. Let me draw again. It must be a straight line. It must be a straight line and must be a... Yeah. Okay, let me just draw a nice line. Okay, let's see. Okay, because just now I try not to block the camera. 
Okay, so this is my north. Right, then after I have the north ready, and then they want E from D. That means I need to from the D north here, rotate my angle clockwise until I touch the line ED. So you can see that from north here until I touch the line ED, which is exactly this angle I want to find, the whole angle here. Right, so how are we going to find this angle? First, we kind of need to solve the triangle. Okay, this triangle 90, 50, so we know this angle here will be 40. 180 minus both of this. Alright, you get 40. And then I, I need another angle here. I need to know what is this angle above here. So, how to find this angle? So, in this topic, you always will use this rule. We know that if this two line is the parallel, the internal angle, which is A, B, angle A plus angle B must always equal to 180. Okay, this is the angle rule you should learn in Form 3. So that means two internal angle plus together must always equal to 180. So if here will be 60 degree, so therefore this angle must, be, uh, here is 120 degree. So this one must be 60 degree. Do you see? Because this line north and north is parallel, right? So therefore, these two angle plus together must always equal to 180. So therefore, here is 60. I mean, here is 120, here will be 60. Here is 40. So the total angle here is plus together, 60 plus 40. Then you get 100. So therefore, the bearing is 100. Right. Quite simple. And bearing, you always have three digits. So let's say today, bearing is 40. I'll write 0, 4, 0. Something like this. We're bearing, we always write in three digits. All right, but I think the three digit that one is not so important. So this is how we do the bearing. So I hope you can understand the first example. It's quite simple. Okay, so because we have an internal angle here, do you see that? So this angle plus this angle must be 180. All right, then we have a look on the second example. Okay, second example is quite hard because what the north is not given. You need to able to visualize the north by yourself by reading the bearing give, given here. They tell you the bearing D from F is 300. So D from F, that means F is here. So I kind of need to draw, imagine maybe if in order to get the 300. Okay, so first you must get the idea how the 300 look like in the angle, right? This is 180, 270. 300 must be something like this, isn't it? And this line actually quite similar to this one, then I can assume the north is here. Right, so if this line is like from F to D here, then we know here will be 60 degree, isn't it? So I know here will be 60 degree. How do I know it's 60? Because 360, I minus 300, I kind of get a 60 here. Of course, if you want to able to see the 300, you can try to draw yourself. It's kind of like this. It's 300. Okay. Alright. Then they asked me to find the bearing E from D. So I want to find the bearing E from D. From D, that means my angle must at D there. So I need to draw a north at D here. This is my north here. So I need to, from the north here, Rotate clockwise until I touch the line ED. Until I touch the line ED. So this is the angle I want to find. So if I want to find this angle, I know I kind of need to solve like similar thing like just now. First thing is these two parallel line, internal angle is 180. So I kind of need to know hey, what is this angle. Since this is 60, this one need to be 120 because plus together must be 180. Alright, then I solve the triangle. Because this is isosceles triangle, so that means we know these two angles will be the same, isn't it? I mean this angle and this angle will be the same. So each will be 50. Because just use 180 minus 150 divided by 2, you will get 15 each. So therefore the whole angle is basically 120 plus 15. So the bearing will be 135. Right, so basically, but this one is considered still okay, not like very complicated because the north is still face, face north. 
Because not necessarily north must face this direction, north can face any direction. As long as if they say north is like this, then all your north need to be follow this direction. Then we go to the third question, which is exactly like what I say. Okay, in this question, north is not given, but they will give you in the sentence. I mean, they don't draw out the line north for you. Alright, so they tell you P is due north of Q. So P is due north of Q. Q is here, so P actually at the north direction of Q. So therefore, north direction, isn't it? So therefore, I know the north must be same parallel to this line, isn't it? So therefore, my north must be in this direction. Okay, so because P is due north of Q, so that means this direction will be north, then here will be south. Do you see it? Alright, then they ask you to find the bearing Q from R. From R, that means the angle must at R, right? So I need to draw a north at R here. I will be kind of parallel to this one. Alright, then I will need to draw the angle rotate clockwise from my north, rotate clockwise, until I touch the line QR. Okay, so from here, rotate clockwise until I touch the line QR. So this is the whole angle I want to find. So in order to find that angle, I know the whole thing here is 360. If I can minus 40 and I minus this angle, then I kind of can guess the bearing I want. And so therefore, what I will do over here is I solve the thing here because this is a straight line, then here will be 100. Because 180 for straight line, right? minus 80, you get 100. And internal angle, both plus together, is 180. So here will be 80 degree. So if I want to get my bearing here, which is the whole angle here, what I want to do is basically, I use the 360, minus 80, and then minus 40. Then I will get 200, 40. So this is the bearing of Q from R. Alright, so I hope these three type of example at least help you like how know how to read the north, how to read the bearing, and how to solve this kind of simple example. Of course, if you have time, maybe I will make one more is like more difficult type of bearing questions. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and you learn something from this video. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys. In the next video. Bye bye.